Well, folks, <laughs> I didn't get to water last night, but coming out here, I'm so excited. All my beautiful bromeliads are blooming again. Some of them is already bloomed out, but all of them are still blooming. And these guys over here are still bloomed out, and they've been bloomed for a long, long time. That's amazing. Months, 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 months. I, I don't even know, probably six months or more, these have been bloomed out. And they don't change, so I think I might uh, continue to grow these kind. Okay, so I am still having to wash off these aphids. Look, check this out. Crazy. They're everywhere. So I just spurt them down all the time. But they're starting to get onto my um, grapevine too. And I'm wondering if I should cut back the uh, um, beans, being that the grapevine is going up there. I don't know if I should do that or not. I, I don't know what to do about that. I want this grapevine to sprawl out and get everywhere. But uh, I know the beans will be gone soon. And I just don't know. Just can't figure it out. But I really don't want the beans to die either. <laughs> So maybe I'll just leave them there and whenever it's time I'll cut them out. But yeah, it's crazy. Um, all the aphids that I have to wash off all the time. I had to wash it off over there to that bean plant too and the ones in the garden. They were all over the ones in the garden too. So gotta love them aphids. Anyways, um, I'm going to go out front and water the rest of this stuff. So over here, I have some sugar apples that have come up in this one. And I believe a couple in these. Not very many, though. It's kind of strange. But maybe it's because they haven't been watered, you know? So... I'm going to get these watered in real good. These are papayas. The ones in the two middle ones are sugar apples. And these are sugar apples, I believe. So, get them watered in really good. And this poor little, little um, bell pepper, it just constantly has trouble. Trouble, trouble, trouble it has white funk on it now. I don't know. And it's kind of droopy. You can tell it needs some water. And of course, you know, it's got to have all the weeds around it. So, I get them away from it. Anyways. Oh, I see this. I can't tell what it is. I think it's uh, one of the cantaloupes that I didn't get uh, picked. So I'm hoping that it gives me some cantaloupes. It's got, it might be, it might be cucumber, but I'm pretty sure it's cantaloupe. Um, got plenty of, uh, um, blooms on it and look at my bok choy I can't wait I'm gonna I'm gonna make a stir fry probably tonight maybe tomorrow night I don't know and I'm gonna use that bok choy I planted no I didn't plant those yet come to think about it I want to plant more bok choy uh, Holland gave me some that were purple 
the purple bok choy so I didn't have to buy any. Oh. Uh, so, hopefully, I'll get some out of it. Oh, check out my new shirt. This is one of the gifts that I won from um, Six Acres Farm and Rescue. Isn't that gorgeous? She knows I love bees. <laughs> well, anyways, got to get all these babies watered in really good. Now, I had a fruit on here that I've been watching, and I don't see it right now. Oh, yes. There it is. Whoops. Almost fell, guys. See it back there? I am going to see if that's ripe later on today. And, uh... I, I really, I'm, I'm gonna, I wanna wait till David's here to see if it's ripe, because if it's ripe, I'm gonna pull it with, with him being here, and we're gonna try that. That's a, uh, I think it's sapodilla or something like that. I just watched Erie, uh, and how to figure out whether it's ripe or not, so I'm so excited, I can't wait. So that's the rambling rose that uh, Wilma gave me, and it is doing pretty well. I'm very surprised. Uh, the other ones did not make it, so I'm really excited. Um, but this did not make it either. And that is, uh, I forget what that was, but I've got to get this out of there too. <laughs> Anyways, that clay is hard to get out of, so I'm going to have to get something to dig that weight out. But I'm excited. And my, uh, my lychee nuts are getting bigger. Lychees. Whatever you want to call them. I call them lychee nuts all my life. And then I find out they're lychees. Oh! I'm going to break my heart here. I've got to go over here and fix some stuff. Try not to get wet. Goodness gracious. My fig. Oh, that's not good. My fig. I, I'm going to have to put that in a different pot. And my umbrella is looking nasty too. And my poor coffee trees over. Mm -mm -mm. Gotta get some water in there. So, but he's still got some beautiful new leaves on him. Of course, as you can tell, something has been digging in here already. And I just planted in here. Crazy. Probably a cat or something. So looky here. <laughs> I love watering. I discover all kinds of new things. Tomato. Yum, yum, yum. Well, praise God that's done. Look at this. Isn't that awesome? Look at all these beautiful, beautiful fruit. That's the black sapote. It won't be long. Look at that one, how big it is. It won't be long until all these are ripe because they're starting to change colors. They're not as green as they were. And every once in a while I have one on the ground. I don't see one right now because David mowed, so we probably mowed over it. But anyways. Look, just on this one little thing, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. On this one little branch, poor little branch. <laughs> and look at all of them right there. Oh Lord, too many to count. See how many there is? Wow. And 
they're all over all over it's so exciting <laughs> the neighbors love these too so I'm going to share as many as I can with them <clears throat> Anyways, and they dug out the, they liked them so much, I told them if they wanted that uh, tree that was here that I was trying to get dug out, I couldn't dig it out myself. I just didn't have the energy at the time, but it was right here. I told them to go ahead and uh, dig it out and they could have it. There was actually two trees there. And looky here. This is the macadamia nut that came up, and it is doing fantabulous. I am so super excited about that, but I just can't get over my beautiful bromeliads. <laughs> they are so gorgeous. I love these things. Even my roses uh, going. I must talk to these people.